This is Carlo. Welcome to another quick tutorial, and today we're going to be doing um, showing you how to bring your work in from uh, Cinema 4D into After Effects. Um, and this is what I created very quickly. This took me about 15 minutes to do, so let's have a look. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, so I've got my model in uh, Cinema 4D. Um, he's not animated um, because I've already set all my animation. Uh, I'm not going to animate this character um, because there's plenty of tutorials on animating in um, Cinema 4D and he's going to take a lot of time to animate anyway, like he did the last time. <coughs> so um, I'm going to um, show you how to place him into your scene. So get him the way you want. And then I'm going to come to create and I'm going to create a new material. And there's a reason behind this, guys. Uh, I'm going to make it green. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to drop my green onto the sky. And I'm going to drop my green onto the floor. Um, and that's going to give me my green screen texture for this uh, production. So let's say, in theory, he was animated, he's all ready to go. Um, this would work in the same instance if he was animated. Um, so um, let's just um, show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up into my settings, go to my save. Um, I'm going to make him a JPEG for now, but obviously if you're in film, um, you'll make a quick time movie, obviously. What I'll do for you guys, I'll just make a quick time movie very quickly anyway, uh, just to show you uh, what it's all about. 8-bit, um, you can leave it on 8-bit or you can change it, it's entirely up to you how you want to play this game. Um, but uh, you should be fine uh, no matter what you use. Um, I want to save it to my desktop here. I've already got a file, so I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Um, let's go to output. Um, I'll save a uh, current frame. Uh, let's save. Yeah, let's save a current frame. Actually, because I'm not um, because I'm not uh, doing a movie with this, I'll go to JPEG, right? But I'll say, if you're doing a movie, go to quick time. All right, let's go go there. Uh, multi pass, just check that out, all channels. Fine, anti aliasing, best. Yeah, that's all fine for now for this tutorial. Then I'm going to come up to this icon here. Um, I'm going to uh, re render him. Um, he will take a bit of time to re render, um, so don't worry, I'll leave this in real time. It's quite a high quality uh, model. Um, so I'm just going to render him like that. Um, the arm's a bit missing here, but if we sort of zoom back, um, we'll be able to see him in full. So we'll just wait for that to complete. And then we'll go to the next step. Now what I'll do for you guys, um, I will give you this model, I'll give you a double model of him and Dave, um, check out the media file description below, click the link um, and you'll be able to download these models uh, free of charge from me to you. Um, they are fully rigged, it's entirely up to you if you want to add small bones to it or whatever you want to do, but this um, should work fine in um, Maya as well. Uh, and Cinema 4D is the main program which this character was made in. So I am just going to uh, speed this up, and when this is done, uh, we'll continue. Okay, so he is finished now. So let's just uh, close this and hide Cinema 4D and hopefully he will be on our desktop right here. So let's say for instance he is a video piece of video footage okay um, and he's moving around this will work the same way for video as it is a picture. So now I'm going to jump into After Effects. I've got my scene here uh, which I knocked up which is the same as the scene you saw in the clip. I'm going to come up to File, I'm going to come up to Import File and I'm just going to import that piece of footage into my scene, uh, bring him here, 
and I make him a 3D layer and then I'm going to right click and key him out using key light 1.2 1, 1. get my dabber um, and I'm going to key him out like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to final result to uh, screen map um, and then I'm going to adjust so my screen mat and make the whites white and I'm going to make the blacks black like so the whiter it is the better the image is going to look then from screen mat I'm going to put it back to final result and then boom he's right there now <coughs> obviously you know you're going to pretend he's animated don't forget to make him a 3D layer even in a video and that will allow you to sort of play around with these angles, uh, so on and so on. Okay, so now he is in the scene uh, with me. Um, and when he's actually moving, um, it looks pretty cool when you animate him to your taste. Uh, and they look pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to do something uh, different. I'm going to uh, match my uh, video footage uh, with the scene. I'm going to go to effects, uh, color correction, curves, and I'm just going to bring it the curves down just to make it a bit dark. And you see we've got some light in here and shadows. So what I did, I created a new uh, light and I simply got my dabber and hit the light here, this is the main light here and I'll just hit that to get the colour clicks OK and as you can see now when we move our lighting around let's bring this back let's pull this out uh, we're going to be able to get some really nice uh, uh, what do you call it uh, lighting effects on our minion right, so you can see the arm around here um, and it just adds to um, the overall production if we give him a little bit of a shadow there. Um, it just basically looks good. So I'm just going to hide my lighting for now uh, so I can see what I'm doing now. Obviously we've got his feet here. I want to create a little shadow so I'm going to go to new solid. Uh, I'm going to make it black. And I'll, I'll, I'll just put all that shadow. Uh, click OK. I'm going to switch shadow off. And I'm simply going to um, mask right, around like that. Okay, and I'm going to turn my shadow back on, get my feather, and just bring the feathering up uh, just a touch. And as you can see now, um, we've got a cool little shadow on the table uh, that represents uh, the uh, minion's feet. Now, if you hit the 3D button on a shadow, um, it's going to make it look even more real because it's going to push it into the distance. So, um, when you actually animate him, the shadow is actually going to move uh, with the actual character. And finally, the way I finished it off, I created a new uh, adjustment layer. Go to effects. This is purely on taste if you've got it. I use Magic Bullet Looks Mojo. Um, I clicked on Mojo um, and I just brought uh, Blend with Original just up a touch and then we're going to click on our minion I'm going to go to Effects, uh, uh, Colour Correction, uh, Curves and I'm just going to bring him down uh, slightly just to match our scene, he's a little bit too bright like so and then I want to get on my minion again I want to go to Effects I'm going to go to um, color correction again and I'm going to go to where is it uh, photo filter like right, so and then you, you've got loads of presets here so you can just sort of change um, uh, the photo filter as you see fit but I'm going to get my dabber so I'm going to go to custom I'm get my dabber and I'm just going to hit my light there um, and then I'm just going to bring the density up a bit. This this part of the um, uh, technique uh, finished tutorial um, is based on taste, based on your scene, based on your lighting. So it's entirely up to you um, how you actually do this or how you colour grade him. I'm going to do some more colour grading on him now. I'm going to go to uh, 
uh, uh, sorry, uh, color correction. Um, I'm going to go to um, uh, color balance, and then I'm just going to bring my reds down a bit. Like so that's fine. Preserve your luminosity. I like to uh, put that in. And then that's basically it, really. That's basically how you interact with, um, how I interact anyway, with um, uh, Cinema uh, 4D and After Effects. Now, what you could do, if you was really, really clever, <laughs> is you can um, get your puppet tool and you can select your uh, minion, all right, and then you can put some puppetry on this. If you've got like a static image as well. Now you don't have to do this. This is not part of the tutorial. Um, this is just a little tip for you guys. So I've got my puppet tool down here, and I'm just going to open up my compositing options. And um, when we uh, select um, our um, point, when we move, um, we can literally animate him <laughs> as a as a as a picture um, if you wanted. Um, obviously it's entirely up to you how you sort of animate him. Um, let's go to, uh, close this, close this so I know where I'm at because I'm getting lost here. And uh, let's go to Puppet Tool. Deform. And um, basically all these are your pins. So when I select these pins, these light up to show me uh, which one in, basically I'm selecting. So the last one I did was the six. So I could create a position, uh, sorry, create a position. I could move it forward and then I can get this pin and move it down and that will automatically create a keyframe, move it up. Um, and say, you, you know, you haven't got Cinema 4D, which I doubt most of you have got. Um, we created a sort of little animation there, uh, just within After Effects. So that's a, a, an added little tip for you guys, which is not part of the tutorial, um, but hopefully that'll give you a little tip on how to adjust uh, some of the animations you sort of missed out um, when he was actually animating, animating him um, within uh, After Effects. Uh, sorry, it's a Cinema 4D, so I could just stretch these along to make the the animation longer. It's entirely up to you. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Uh, like, like rating um, would be appreciated. Um, and as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. button.